Welcome back, everybody, to episode seven of In Touch with Steve Trondolo. I'm Vince. That's Steve. Steve, this is a bit of a unique episode. It's the first time that you and I are speaking after a loss. Yes, it uh, is. Yes, it is. And I'm still smiling. You're still smiling. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit about that loss, I think, just right off the top. How do you process losses? Um, very similar to when I was a player. Um, I would look at myself first. What could I have done differently? These games are decided not by maybe topic you didn't touch on in training or what you did, but it's more of just the, those key moments and matches that, um, you know, our guys need to be up for and uh, pretty much everybody in the field. No matter the result, you're always very gracious with the media, uh, but this one I could just see a little bit of simmering, a little bit of boiling behind there, and, I, and that's where I saw the former player. When you went in the locker room, like what was the what was the first thing you did? Uh, I think the, the way the game ended, uh, such a high and then a low, um, it was really hard to then go in the locker room and then boil over with emotions because that happened a few minutes prior. So I need a day or two to, to kind of get wound up again. We just have to finish our chances mm -hmm. and be better at defending our own box. And if we do, um, we played well enough and quite well to win that game. Mm -hmm. Bela trying to turn the corner on Depew. Bob knocked it down. The rebound is in for Arongo. So how do you move forward? Because this is game six, uh, but it's not just any loss. It's a loss to your rival. Emotions are part of this game. I think it's important that the players feel that, and they did, and it was a great atmosphere. 32-52 and all of our fans there were fantastic, and I think they appreciated the effort. Um, after the game, even though we did lose. Um, I saw a team who was resilient, was good, strong mentally, and, and didn't, didn't give up until the last minute. And that's what we want to see, and that's what we expect from our team, and we, we saw that. So obviously, as you alluded to, that game ended in a way that left a bad taste in our mouths. So we're gonna play off that a little bit and talk about things that literally leave a bad taste in your mouth in some cases and some other things. This is basically gonna be Steve's least favorite things. Let's start with, what is your biggest pet peeve? Making the same mistake twice. Mm -hmm. um, can't stand that, uh, from myself and from others. Least favorite type of music, like it comes on and oh. wherever it is, you gotta find it, turn it off. Very easy. Um, that's German folklore music. Ooh. What we call in German Schlagermusik. Yeah, it's really bad. What was your least favorite food as a kid? Cauliflower, which I love now. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Where do you land on mayo? A lot of people don't like mayo. There's one, that's pretty good. I, yeah. I'm not a big mayo guy. But the only thing I do like it with, the only combination that's good in is with French fries. Mm. I got that from living in Germany. It was pretty good. There's some faces in the background over there. They, apparently that's not a popular choice with the crowd here, but. For, for all of you that are watching and can only see the frame, Max Bredos is our peanut gallery and he's either laughing or making faces. It's always great. Uh, what is the worst chore around the house? Mm, vacuuming. I don't have that. It's mindless. It should be easy. It just takes your mind off everything. Uh, but it's annoying. Mm. I, I don't know why. Vacuuming is really annoying to me. Uh, here's a soccer one. Who's a team that to this day you still loathe the most? That's easy. That would be Pina Ost, yeah. a.k.a. Braunschweig. Yeah, and if you didn't see the last episode, there's a reason why he said it that way first and not with the Braunschweig. Worst uh, subject in school? One you like the least? Writing, English, reading, all of that stuff. Nah, it wasn't, wasn't entertaining at all. Says the guy that told me you wrote like 60 pages on how to create a chance. I, can, I can, but I, I didn't say I enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. Worst Christmas gift you ever got? I think one of my aunts or uncles sent it to me. I'm not gonna say which one. It was a denim vest. It might be popular now. I know, but back I know. Then. But no, it was not. This was yeah. not. You okay. weren't a biker. So this was patches on it. Southern California. I was wearing shorts and t-shirts, whatever, like rusty, quicksilver, surfer t-shirt mm -hmm. with some shorts and sandals to school, and then a denim vest just didn't really go with that in, in the '90s. What's one song, and we'll call it an earworm? It's a song that gets stuck in your head and you just can't get it out and you hate it, that it, it always weasels its way in. Mm, well, the one right floating around our house is uh, uh, from Encanto. Mm. The We Don't Talk About Bruno? Yeah, Bruno. Yeah. Uh, great song, but it's I'm, I'm over it. Don't worry, we can't we can't pay for the rights to that, so we won't use it. It's a great song, I, yeah. just, can't, I just can't do it anymore. Uh, you're a cosmopolitan person. What's the worst part of travel? Airport security, by far. Mm, fair. Who's the player you loved to hate when you played? 
Michael Bollock. Ooh, why? He was really good, and he had this natural arrogance about him. He's not, uh, but he was, just had this natural arrogance about him. And I would put it in the same category Mario Gomez, who's now a friend, so I can say that, Mario. Sorry, buddy. Um, he just had this way of just walking across the pitch and treating you like inferior human being. Mm -hmm. And they were really good, too. And they always scored against the teams I played for, so um, I didn't like playing those, those two guys. Um, but I have to say, they're both awesome dudes. Yeah, were you ever able to catch them? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. What is the game that you lost in your playing days that still sticks with you? The games that pop in my head first are, are some of the games against Ghana at the 2006 World Cup, the final group game. We let that one get away from us, we shouldn't have. And then again against Ghana in uh, the second round. Um, I think in both of those games, we had pretty good chances to move on. And there's one last one that I regret deeply. Um, the final, Gold Cup final against Mexico here at the Rose Bowl in LA. We lost 4-2, to two. we were winning 2-0. to zero. We should have known that one slipped away, but we did. Well. We knew it was going to happen sooner or later, that we were going to have to talk after a loss. But you've been gracious. Thank you. Uh, and it's always fun to talk to you. As I say, you're, you're very cool, calm, and collected when it comes to these things. So thanks for joining us again. That's another episode of In Touch with Steve Trundolo. We'll see you guys next week.